never been on a plane like this in my life. <laughs> Boys, we have landed now in Abu Dhabi. We have another eight hour flight now to Singapore. And then from there, where are we going then? Oh, obviously Bali. Me and the boys, we're here now on a head buzz. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yes, it made it to the other side. Just landed in fucking Bali. This gaff is a mayhem. Holy shit. It's mad out there. Came out of the airport, paparazzi here to support me. This is actually our first time in Asia. What is it? Yep. We're all very talkative. How are you today? I'm horny. <laughs> I still got some love deep inside of me You know me to lie to me I know you got a guy He's not a guy to me Just say goodbye to him And take a ride to me so we're in the house now in Bali. Don't feel like vlogging, just getting settled in, getting shit ready. And of course, I still have not fucking slept. It's been well over 24 hours now. Gotta eat some food, get some rest, and continue this tomorrow. It is now day two in Bali. I haven't vlogged since I landed here. Literally just very, very jet lagged. Last night, I think I might have had a mild case of the Bali belly. Not nice whatsoever. Got off the airplane, right? I shit you not, there was hundreds of men just shouting and haggling us to try and get in their taxis. Hey man, I love your car. What do you do for a living? Well, we came out and it was left, right and center. There was people asking if you wanted a taxi, if you wanted a SIM card, everything. It was just nuts. The best way to describe it is if you've ever been in Puerto Banus in Marbella, you'd know. When you're walking down the strip and the f the cheats are coming over to you. <laughs> the best example I can think of. Really it's like the male version of that, but 10 times worse. At least in Marbella, if you're feeling insecure, you can walk inside your house, you're walking down the strip, people are calling you Ken, they're saying that you're handsome, they're saying that you're cute. Jesus, speak for yourself. But at the end of the day, they want your money. But still, the compliments are nice. But in this airport, you're just getting shouted at all the time. Not nice whatsoever. But anyways, right now it is currently 7 a.m. About to go hit the gym. First gym session being over here. Then have a lot of work to do. As well as that, I'm gonna do a bit of a house tour today, run you all through it, give you all the prices, the breakdowns, and basically just show exactly what it looks like to live in Bali. Apparently, these Asian Red Bull drinks are meant to be cracked. Might have to give it a go. So, we're on TikTok live here now. What's your name? Right. Right. Nice to meet you, Sean. What's your name? Any. Nice to meet you. Ireland. Ireland, yeah. Vloggers. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor, yup, uh, get on, fella. What's your TikTok name? Let's see. Uh, Chiva Parsolu. So, uh, I have my friend Dina. Dina, come here. Ask her to come. Oh, who's Dina? Come to Bali. Come to Bali, Dina. Let, let's see a photo of Dina. All right, well, Dina, if you're watching this, come here. Yes. Come on. <laughs> I love you, Dina. Yeah, he loves you. He lo Dina, he loves you. No, that's the one thing with Bali. Everyone here is so, so, so friendly. Yeah, you don't get anyone just proper red hot or anything. Like, it's just everyone smiling at you. Yeah. Have a good time. It's amazing. Like, the culture here and everything is so beautiful. Everyone's so polite. Everyone's so mannerly. Hello. Everyone's so nice. I love it. Here. See, that's the issue though, crossing the roads and everything here is tough as fuck. They drive mental. Fucking dead right. So, we've just landed now in the new gym. This is called Raw Gym. And to be honest with you now, it's looking like the place that might suit us for the rest of this trip. Because it's just around the corner from our villa. Test test time though. Mmm, that's nice as fuck. Try that. Also picked up a little snack, protein bar and protein cookie. Buzzing to get training. So today is in fact arm day okay and I just recently changed up my workout split to leg day, back, arms and then chest and shoulders. So first thing we'll be doing some easy bar bicep curls. Let's get straight into it. Watch your motherfucking tone boy. Yeah, hurt, boy. Four second negative, finish off each set. Absolutely unreal. Feeling good as well, feeling quite full. Currently on the bulk, 3,000 clean calories per day. Feeling fucking energized. Oh, here going on, motherfucker. That don't understand the concept of putting money first, boy. Mid workout, this guy gets a fucking coffee. So now we are about to do some close grip barbell bench press. This is for the triceps, big compound movement. First time doing 100. Let's do it. Fuck it, I'm rich, let's do it. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life for squinting, can't just stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already fixed, so I'm halfway there. <laughs> Brown and bad, could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. 100 meters, I just put nine gal in a sprinter. Uh, 100 eaters, it won't fit in one SUV. No. SOS. So what I have us doing right now is a burnout superset. Usually I do this at the end, but the tricep push downs are taken, so we're doing this right now. But basically, it's wrist curls for about 30 reps. <laughs> 
and then we superset that with reverse grip curls. The superset is not only hitting your brachialis, but also your forearms and just your biceps as a whole. Such a great finisher, I recommend everyone does it. Two sets, 15 plus reps, burn out. Post workout meal right here. We have four eggs, avocado, bacon, and some chicken, yum. Time to get the stale meal right now. 50, 60 grams of protein, and probably around 600 calories. Time to eat. So we're back now from the gym, back from getting food, feeling good, feeling fresh. How are you feeling, Gabo? I'm feeling pretty wet. Wait, hang on. Pause, pause, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you heard Gavin, he's, he's wet, but I'm feeling fucking energized, feeling good, genuinely. Bali is such an amazing place. I was inside the cafe, walked outside, and just looking around, thinking to myself, I am so grateful. And I would not be in this position if it was not for any of you guys. So thank you all so much, genuinely, for all your continued support. It does not go unnoticed. But anyways, the main thing about Bali, okay, is a lot of people here literally have no money, or very little money. And the thing is, okay, you would not think it whatsoever, because every single person you talk to, they're the happiest. Loudest. Yeah, loudest, fuck off. But every single person that you come across here, although they have little to nothing, they are so, so grateful, they're so happy, they're optimistic, and to be honest with you, they're a lot happier than some millionaires that me and Gavin have met, if I'm honest. And it's just so beautiful to see that the people here have this mindset towards life, and it's definitely something that I'm gonna take home with me. But anyway, time for a swim in the pool. After that, I got a bit of work to do, but we're gonna take these next two hours now to recharge, get our energy levels back up, and also I'm gonna do a little house tour as well, so let's get to it. I'm gonna make it out. <laughs> Why are you swimming? <laughs> there's, there's no room to swim. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Bro literally thinks he's in a nether. <laughs> like, not, not. I'm bringing sexy. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. Right, so throw it in the water. <laughs> what is this guy doing? So we actually have a cleaner that comes here like three times per week, I think it is, and obviously cleans the whole house, right? However, today I have a weird request for her. Basically, up here, okay, there's a wasp, and he's building a nest right there at the corner. He's not there right now, which tells me that he's going getting materials to build the nest. And basically what these wasps or hornets or whatever the fuck that is does, is it lays these eggs, and before you notice, there's like a fucking swarm of them all building the nest. So this needs to be destroyed ASAP, and the cleaner is going to get on it and smash it up. Right, so you might ask me, Sean, why are you looking so good? Good. I know I'm looking a bit too fucking fresh, haven't recorded in a few hours, and we're literally about to go out to the nightclub now. But what has happened in the last few hours, you might ask? Well, the cleaner came over, she got rid of the nest. Oh, thank you so much, Lou. Thank you so much, that was so scary. There was a bit of drama with the wasps. Then, straight after that happened, this girl just walked into our house. Someone just walked into our house no. because they were after booking this villa. What is going on? So what's your name? I'm Lise. And what happened? Were you in her gaff? I was a thief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just saw that. But now nah, she was lovely. She was sound. But anyway, the thing that you've all been waiting for is the house tour. Let's do it. I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Body start to drop, eh? We'll start off here then. We have our beautiful pool, okay? You could fit about two of us, five others in, not too shabby. Here you have your living area. Obviously you have your TV, throw on a bit of YouTube, watching Sean Coffee, of course. Then you have a nice seat here, a nice seat there. This is like the beer area, depends on the day. You come over here then, we have our kitchen. Sorry everyone, 2000s on the floor there. I'm only joking, what's that, like fucking 50 cents? Less, bro. Yeah, like 20 cents. But we have our lovely kitchen now. You wanna see the fridge? Come and see the fucking fridge. Bosch, insulin, a bit of milk, and two Beers. In fact, I'm actually gonna open up this beer right now. Nice old razor, can't beat it. We need a good buzz for tonight. Now, we come upstairs then. I know, don't get don't get hypnotized by what I'm wearing. I know I look a bit too fresh. You come up here, and during the day you have a lovely view, which of course you probably saw earlier on. Down there you can see our pool, obviously. And here we have Gavin's room. Give a tour of your room. Nothing special here, to be honest, right? Just got standard, got my clothes up here, got my lovely bed, been made by a lovely cleaner today. Workstation, yeah, brought this over. This was essential because I'm just not productive without it, to be honest. And then standard, just got the bottom. Here. Lovely. So you want to see the place where all the magic happens, sorry. Right? When I say magic, I mean fucking fucking myself off at night, 2 a.m. It's a ritual. So as you can see down here, I literally have all my diabetes medication all in the one place. Very organized. I know. Relax. Don't count it. I know I'm organized. Then we have all my clothes here. Bit of a fucking mess, I know. More clothes up there. My workstation is not as posh as Gavin's. As you can see, I have my fake Dior Sauvage, my fake Vinci perfumes over here. Laptop here, obviously. Do all my work, etc. Kindle behind there. Don't even see that. So this is the bed. I mean, nothing special. A tripod next to it. No, I don't film sex tips. It's because I'm a content creator. Come 
inside here, my bathroom, very, very standard, of course. You just have a pink toothbrush, toothpaste, sun cream. I'm using that as a door stopper at the moment. Shaving cream, all that kind of shit. Key winning strips, most important. And then shower inside here. But that's basically everything. So this entire villa, okay, is me and Gavin's. Two bedrooms, of course, we have our living area, we have our pool, lovely neighbors, we're central, we have it all. And as you saw earlier, we actually have cleaners that comes here three times per week. You might be wondering, this must cost a lot. It really doesn't. For the 48 nights, I think it is, that we're here, for me and Gavin, it's 1,400 euros, which is very, very good considering the fact we're literally on the other side of the world. I mean, look at the quality of living right now. And the flights coming over were about 700 euros. So in total, that cost us about 2,100 euros each for 48 nights. I'm gonna do the maths on the screen, what that is per day, roughly. And then, I mean, per day, you could easily live off, I'd say, even 10 to 20 euros here with just food and getting around. I'm telling you now, if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it is to get out here to Bali. The environment is insane. It's very easy to stay healthy out here with all the gyms and the healthy food. The mindset of some of the people out here is insane. The local people are some of the best people that you'll ever meet. It is just overall an amazing place. And we're what? We're fucking two days in. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all later.